the making of independent india's constitution background of nepal the continuous people struggle for the democratic representative government finally led to elections in 1991 in this increase in elections the congress party of nepal came to power with huge majority the communist party was however satisfied with this system of government in which the monarchy still had a dominant say they wanted to complete overhaul of the political system and an abolition of monarchy the movement transformed itself into an armed conflict between the pro and anti monarchy groups this struggle culminated in 2007 with the abolition of monarchy reading debates the constitution of any country provides a certain basic structure and principle according to which its state would function and further of the nation could be built thus a constitution has a double purpose outlining the role and rights of citizens and structure and powers of the government and its organs like executive legislature judiciary etc indicating the nature of future society which has to be built by the joint efforts of the states and the society in nepal the process of making of constitution began in 2007 and it was still not completed in 2014 this was largely because different political trends of nepal could not come to a common agreement on many basic issues the making of indian constitution the constitution of india was prepared and adopted by the constituent assemblies as the british government decided to give freedom to the people of india a new constitution was needed by which the people of india can rule themselves and also set long term objectives for themselves for this purpose constituent assembly was formed in 1946 following the election to the provincial assemblies the constituent assembly members were elected indirectly by the members of the provincial assemblies the cabinet mission appointed in 1946 allotted seats to each province and each princely state or group of states accordingly provinces or areas under direct british rule elected 292 members and all princely states together elected 93 members while elections were held in provincial legislative houses representatives of princely states were identified through consultation the indian national congress was singly largest party with 69% of all seats followed by the muslim league which had most of the seats reserved for muslims after 14th august 1947 as a country was partitioned between india and pakistan the members from pakistan formed a separate constituent assembly for pakistan as you can see the constituent assembly ca was not elected through universal adult franchise but indirectly and as such did not represent all sections of indian society even though the ca was not strictly representative it took great care to consider all shades of opinion and give wide publicity to its own work so that all kinds of people would provide their inputs through letters writing in the newspapers and other ways a drafting committee was set up under the chairmanship of dr b r ambedkar and its task was to prepare the final draft taking in account all view points 
various important aspects of the constitution were discussed in great depth and the assembly gave both directions on both them the final draft was presented before the ca of for discussion and approval the constitution was finally adopted by the ca on 26th november 1949 and it came into force on 26 january 1950 reading constituent assembly debates dr b r ambedkar the draft of the constitution before the ca on 1948 dr ambedkar begins with the process by which a draft was prepared as the assembly was not elected by universal suffrage see the steps taken to ensure maximum participation of members and also general public the honorable dr b r ambedkar mr president sir i introduce the draft constitution as settled by the drafting committee and move that it be taken into consideration the drafting constitution is a formidable document it contains 315 articles and 8 schedules it must be admitted that the constitution of no country could be found to be so bulky as draft constitution the draft constitution has been before the public for 8 months during this long time friends critics and the advisories have had more than sufficient time to express their reactions to the provinces contained in it parliamentary system in the draft constitution there is a placed at the head of indian union a functionary who is called the president of the union the title of this functionary remains one of the presidents of united states but beyond identity of names there is nothing in common between the form of government prevalent in america and the form of government proposed under the draft constitution under the presidential system of america the president is the chief head of the executive the administration is vested in him under the draft constitution the president occupies the same position as the king under the english constitution he is the head of the state but not of the executive he represents the nation but does not rule the nation under the american constitution the president has under the secretaries in charge of different departments in like manner the president of the indian union will have under him ministries in charge of different departments of administration here again there is a fundamental differences between the two the president of the united states is not bound to accept any advice tendered to him by any of his secretaries the president of the indian union will be generally bound by the active of his ministries federalism two principles form of the constitution are known to history one is called unitary and the other is called federal the two essential characteristics of a union constitution are the supremacy of the central polity and the absence of subsidiary sovereign polities contrary wise a federal constitution is marked by the existence of the central polity and the subsidiary polities side by side and by each being sovereign in the field assigned to it in other words federation means the establishment of dual polity of the draft constitution is the federal constitution in as much as it establishes what they may be called a dual polity 
This dual polity resembles the American Constitution. The American polity is also a dual polity. One of it is known as federal government. In another states with corresponding respectively to the union government and the state governments of the draft constitution. In the same way, the Indian constitution proposed in the draft constitution is not a league here of states nor are the states administrative units of agencies of the union government. Here, however, the similarities between the Indian and American constitution come to an end. The differences that distinguish them are more fundamental and glaring than the similarities between the two. There is another special feature of the proposed Indian Federation which distinguishes it from other federations. A federation being a dual polity based on divide authority with separate legislative, executive and judicial powers for each of the two polities is bound to produce diversity in laws, in administration and in judicial protection up to a certain point the diversity does not matter. It may be welcomed as being an attempt to accommodate as sought for gay means and methods whereby India will have federation and at the same time will have uniformity in all basic matters which are essential to maintain the unity of the country then means adopted by the draft constitution are three a single judiciary uniformity in fundamental laws civil and criminals and a common all India civil service to man important post The High Courts and the Supreme Court form one single integrated judiciary having jurisdiction and providing remedies in all cases arising under the constitutional law, the civil law or the criminal law. The great courts of criminal and civil laws such as Civil Procedure Court, Penal Court, the Criminal Procedure Court, the Evidence Act. Transfer of Property Act, laws of marriage, divorce and inheritance are either placed in the concurrent list so that the necessary uniformity can always be preserved without impairing the federal system. The dual polity which is inherited in a federal system as I said is followed in all uh, federations by 12 service. In all federations there is a federal civil service and state civil service. The Indian federation though a dual polity will have a dual service but with one exception. The constitution provides that without depriving the state of their right to form their own civil services there shall be an all India service recruitment on all India basis with common qualification with uniform scale of pay and the members of which alone could be appointed to these strategic posts throughout the Union. Examples of critiquing in CA debates there were many criticisms of the draft constitution like Maulana Hasrat Mohini argued that constitution is merely a copy of the 1935 act. It was reminded that during the freedom movement when cabinet mission visited India political groups like INC demanded universal adult surfage and opposed 1935 act. People like Damodar Swarup said a socialist pointed out that draft does not adopt from more recent constitutions of the time like Soviet Union and ignores 
the centrality of the villages in the Indian context. D. S. Seth also argued that members of the CA were not elected by the adult franchise. Constitution and Social Engineering The makers of the Indian Constitution confronted the fact that Indian society was written with inequality, injustice and deprivation and victim of colonial policies which had exploited its economy. Thus the constitution had to facilitate social change and also development. The constitution thus has many provisions facilitating social change. The best example of this is the provision for reservations for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes in the constitution. The constitution also has it in the directive principles of the state policy which sets out main social systems before the government. One important aspect of the social engineering is the problem of the right of minorities. One such right is the right of religious minorities to run their own educational institutions. Such institutions may even receive government funds. The Constitution Today The constitutional makers were aware that laws will have to be amended from time to time. Thus, it laid down the provisions for amending the laws and the articles in the constitutional as well. Often laws can be made with approval of more than half of the members in the legislative houses and some articles may be amended only with the acceptance from the state legislature as well. It is further necessary that the president of the country also approves the new amendment bill like other laws. Major changes in the constitution were made during 1970s. First among them is the inclusion of two words into the preamble of the constitution, secular and socialist. The second major event in the life of the Indian constitution has been a Supreme Court judgment popularly known as Keshavananda Bharati case. It was argued here that certain provisions of the Indian constitution cannot be changed under any circumstances. माँ वीडियो गन का मिक्न अच्छी नट लाई थे लाइक चेंडी शेयर चेंडी इलान्टी मारे नी वीडियोस को सों माँ चैनल ही सब्सक्राइब चेस कोड मात्र मर्ची पोकन्दी थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग